Have you forgot your Apple ID password? That is most often possible to solve. The Apple ID password is also used for iCloud, App Store, iTunes, and more. I've made a video about this before, and here comes an updated version. We will go through several methods, so if one of the methods doesn't work for you, just keep watching. If this video helps you, thumb up the video and subscribe. This is how to do it. First off, we need to know what the Apple ID is. I have a whole video about how to find out. The link is in the video description. Next, it depends on what device you have close. Let's start with this iPhone. An iPad or iPod Touch works in the same way. Let's go into your settings. If possible, type your name on the top. If you use iOS 10 or older, scroll down and tap iCloud instead. If you see sign in on your iPhone instead, you are not signed in on iCloud and you can't use this method. Then tap password and security. Here we can see if you are using two-factor authentication. It's by far more common to have it than not. If that is the case, you should be able to tap change password at the top. Enter your device's passcode, meaning the 4 or 6 digit code that you use when unlocking the device. If you have got it too, I have a video about how to solve it. You can find the link to it in the description. Enter your new password. It will ask you if you want to sign out other devices. If you think somebody have tried to steal your Apple ID and changed the password, I suggest you select sign out other devices. If you don't think anybody tries to get hold of your Apple ID, you can select do not sign out. And now your password is changed. If you have a Mac computer with a recent version of macOS, go to the Apple menu, System Preferences, and then click on iCloud. Click on Account Details. If you're asked for your Apple ID password, click on Forgot Apple ID or Password. Otherwise, click Security, and then Reset Password. If you have two-factor authentication activated, you can reset your Apple ID password there. But if you use an older version of macOS as I do, you don't have that option. When we select Manage Apple ID, we're sent to the web browser. But let's get back to that soon. If none of these methods have worked for you yet, the best way is to use the app Find My iPhone. It can be done on your device or somebody else's. It can also be done on an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. Open up the app. When you see the sign-in screen, make sure the Apple ID field is empty. If you see your or somebody else's Apple ID there, erase it. Tap Forgot Apple ID or Password. Now enter your Apple ID and tap Next. Depending on what security type you have for your Apple ID, what you see next may vary. I'm asked to enter my phone number, since I use two-factor authentication and this is my trusted phone number. If you have forgot your trusted phone number or don't have it anymore, I have a video about that. The link is in the top right corner right now and in the video description. Then I can reset the password with my phone number. When I tap it, I receive a text message from Apple with a verification code. I enter the code Enter your device's passcode And now I can change the password. If you're not using two-factor authentication, you will probably have the options to answer your security questions or receive an email. Choose the one that fits you best. If you can't access the email, and if you don't know your security questions, I suggest you call Apple support. The link to where you find the phone number is in the description. It's good to know that you also can change your password while setting up a new iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch or Mac computer. Just tap don't have an Apple ID or forgot it when asked for Apple ID. I have a whole video about setting up an iOS device. The link is in the video description. And lastly, if you still haven't been able to solve the issue, I suggest you visit the webpage iforgot.apple.com. That can be done from pretty much any device with a web browser, including an Android device or a Windows computer. Enter your Apple ID. Click on continue. And again, depending on if you use two-factor authentication or not, exactly what you see here will vary. Enter the information that you are asked for. In my case, I have to enter my trusted phone number. Enter it even if you don't have access to it anymore. If you don't know the phone number you use as your trusted phone number, you need to find out. If you use two-factor authentication, you'll be prone to use your trusted device. Since we already tried, let's tap don't have access to the device. 
I get the options to use Find My iPhone, which we already tried, and to do it while setting up a new Apple device, which we already mentioned. If you don't use two-factor authentication, you will probably have the options to use your security questions or receive an email. If you think this helps you, follow the steps. If you see the same steps as I do, meaning you have two-factor authentication, and you followed all the steps in this guide and that you can find on this webpage, we only have one option left, that is account recovery. Click on this button, can't get to any other device. As you can read, account recovery is an automatic process that will recover your Apple ID and help you to reset your password. However, it takes time, sometimes days, sometimes weeks. Click on continue anyway, since this is our only chance at this point. You'll receive a verification code to your trusted phone number or trusted device. It can take up to a minute or so to get the code. If you don't use this phone number anymore, you can click on don't use this number anymore. In that case, since you failed to prove this is your Apple ID, the process will take even longer. After this final step, the account recovery begins. In my case, I will get an update in 24 hours. Then Apple will send an email to me. So now it's just a matter of waiting. And that's it. I hope this helped you to solve your issue. If it did, make sure to like this video, subscribe and leave a comment. If you still have problems, I suggest you contact Apple support. The link to the page where you can find the phone number is in the video description. If you want me to make a video about something special, or if you have a question, please also leave a comment. And follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching.